Hello, good afternoon and welcome to Live Interaction Program. You are watching PM Evidya channel. I am with you, Dharmendra Singh. This session is for class 10 students. Subject is English. And guess what? What we are going to do today? Uh, you must know writing is an amazing style to express your feelings, of course, due to uh, you, you must be aware about stories, you must be aware about poems, you must be aware about novels. Uh, writing will enhance your, you know, uh, this quality. But do you know how to write all these things? Somewhere we are not able to understand what exactly we need to write. If we talk about exams point of view, that's why this class is going to be very, very crucial. That's how we are going to understand uh, some tips here. The title is Write Better. There you are. Uh, if you have any questions quickly, uh, you can see the telephone number on your television screen. You may call us uh, on 8800 This is the telephone number. And of course, there is a, a mail ID as well, dth.class10 at the rate cit.nic.in. You may tune in PME with the channel number 10 to watch this program live. And of course, uh, the live broadcast is also going on NCERT official YouTube channel. Uh, we have Dr. Uh, Sri Deepa with us, uh, and she is joining us from University of Hyderabad. I welcome you, Dr. Deepa. Thank you so much. Um, so let's just move uh, ahead, uh, Mr. Dharmendra. Sure. So um, uh, uh, right now, all of us have problems when it comes to writing in exams. First, let us understand how exam writing and writing an essay at home is different. In an exam, the, the traditional way, the earlier way, we had something called a is closed book, closed room, and timed exams. All right. And uh, when it comes to writing essay answers or slightly wrong, or, uh, long, longish answers, it always, uh, uh, when you look at the process of writing itself, we have, have something called as a draft, and then we have something called as a final submission. So always there should be a link between the draft and the final submission. This is how the writing process happens in real life. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to exam, we do not have a lot of time. And, and uh, because there's a lack of time and there are so, so many questions for us to answer, you know, this kind of a tension situation puts us into a situation where we submit the draft itself. So in today's session, we are going to look at whether it is online or offline, um, of, of all the many good things that happened because of COVID, we also have online exams these days where there's uh, this time that is available with us wherein we move from the rough draft to the final submission where we have some time as answerers or as takers of exams in the online exam mm. pattern. So there are two different kinds of questions that are possible. Can we just move uh, to the next slide, please? We, we have uh, in the in the question when you first get your uh, uh, essay question we need to look at no uh, you'll have to come down question words go to the beginning yes do look at the question words okay and if we are able to spend a few seconds with the words uh, in the question that will give us a clue of what is expected out of us. Actually, Sometimes the question words are very direct. For example, you have words like why, what, when, how, where, yes or no questions, agree, disagree questions, what do you think, etc. These are all direct question words. But sometimes we do have your, you know, uh, uh, situations where we have something called as command words. Okay, if you look at how um, uh, uh, there's one question that I have lifted from one of the old question papers, for example, a question like, how did ideas of national unity in early 19th century Europe allied to the ideology of liber liberalism explain? So this is a very direct question because you have the word how. So how meaning what are the ideas and you know, in what direction you take your answer. Similarly, you have another question. How did Greek War of Independence mobilize nationalist feelings among the educated elite across Europe? Explain. All right. So questions like these are very direct. Another question for, for you. 
Why is agriculture called the backbone of Indian economy? Explain. These are all direct questions. You do not have much of a problem. You look at the Q words, that is why, how, and how, and link it to the rest of the words that appear in the question, and then go ahead. But sometimes we have, you know, before you actually submit your essay question, you read the question properly. Many of us lose marks because we do not read the question properly, because we need to un understand what the examiner wants us to do with the question. So halfway we read the question and you forget. So this applies to any question that applies in any of the subjects. It could be history, it could be civics, it could be um, geography, it could be chemistry, it could be anything. So let, let us look at some common words called as the command words. And before you make the final submission, please understand that you need to revise and you need to edit before you submit. And in an exam situation, you need to manage your time according to the marks allotted. So each of these questions, you spend some time. It's projected for you on the screen. You, are, you, are, you look at the question several times sometimes and then consider any underlying assumptions behind the question. Because if we do not spend this 20 seconds or 30 seconds on the question, we might be answering it in a very wrong way or in a way that the examiner does not want us to answer. So thereby we will lose our grade. And no matter how much time we spend in answering the question, it would probably be futile because it will not be one of the best answers. A little above. Can you, can you just move the screen a little bit? Let's move on to analyze. So these are the command words. I've just given, um, no, analyze. Yes. Analyze, for example, uh, you know, that is your cue word for you. Analyze the reasons that led to supply mutiny, for instance. So what do you do with this word analyze? And how does this word analyze translate as? What you're supposed to do is examine in detail to show meaning and identify elements and the relationship between them. That is what analysis or the word analyze, if it is present in any kind of a question, be it in whatever subject, this is what you're expected to do in this question. And this is what you're expected to write in your answer. Similarly, when we go to the next word, for instance, assess. I've completed the question for you. I've just given you a hypothetical question. Assess the character of King Lear as a father. This could be a question in your literature paper. So what you do with assess is that you make an informed judgment. So when you look at the word assess, your answer must have some kind of a judgment. And this judgment must be informed by the text for which you are answering. What you also can do is lift out a few words from the text or a few phrases from the text, put it within quotes, and then show to your examiner that you have made an informed judgment. The next word, the command word in the question could be something that we already know, calculate. So, for example, calculate how a growth in Indian economy is related to make in India from what you have learned in something. So when you do the calculate, when you try and answer this question, you work out from given facts, figures. All right. So this is very important. You work out from what information is given to you. All right. And then you arrive at an answer. If we do not do any of these things, this would not match the expectations of the question setter. This would not match the expectations of the evaluator. So in order to take your answer a notch up, you need to focus on these command words. The next one that is very common is comment. I've just put the question within brackets for you. Comment on the effectiveness of natural farming practices on the overall health quotient of a country. 
So what you do when this word comment comes in the question is that you give an informed opinion. So comment means opinion, your own opinion. And you just cannot give an opinion out of the air. You need to give something called as an informed opinion. So you support your comments, you support your opinions based on what facts and figures you well, can uh, Well, Dr. Come Deepa, up with. being as a class 10 student, I have a question here. Suppose if I have yes. to give any yes, comment sir, for my opinion for any, any topic, so how to start with? Because if I'm giving my opinion, that means I can start from, from any of the line. Like uh, I can use any Mohabra, I can use any poetic devices, anything else. So how to start with? Because you are going to stuck if your beginning word won't be good. So your answer will not, uh, you know, uh, force a good uh, um, uh, example to the examiner. So how to start this? First two or three lines would be very impactful. So this is the only problem. The rest of the things, you can include all the things when you are going to yes. comment or any topic or anything. Very good question, uh, Dharmendra. I understand. Let us look at this question itself over here. Comment on the effectiveness of natural farming practices. So here, some people might say, they might take a stand and say, uh, natural farming practices are not good at all. In mm. uh, the Natural uh, farming practices did not contribute to the overall health quotient of a country. So that would make it an opinion. But when you have to give an informed opinion, you have to support the opinion with a lot of facts and figures, say the study Statistics shows that studies show that natural farming practices did not contribute. So you need to give a lot of examples. Maybe the examples can come from your textbook material. It can come from latest news reports, so on and so forth. So you, you cannot just leave a, uh, give an opinion and leave it there. You need to support it with a lot of examples. Only then it becomes an informed opinion because opinions otherwise has no weight at all. So if your opinion has to have some weight, you need to give a lot of examples coming from the textbook or maybe a, a graph that uh, you can uh, uh, project along with uh, uh, your answer. You know, some facts and figures that come along. So otherwise your comments uh, remain comments. So can we move on? Sure, ma'am. Yeah. So you will also find another word compare in the question. So, for example, compare the duties of a prime minister to that of a chief minister in India. So, what you do in compare is that you identify and you comment on similarities and or differences. Also, possible between, uh, say, a democracy and a dictatorship. So, when you compare, you put things side by side and you look at the similarities and then you look at the differences. You highlight the similarities and focus on the differences as well. So compare doesn't mean you only look at the similarities. You also need to look at the differences. This is something that uh, is very common when it comes to, uh, say, an answer in biology, the subject of biology. So compare uh, a plant cell with an animal cell. So you say, you write, you draw the figure where you draw a line in between and say plant cell, animal cell, and then you put the similarities. You also need to put in the differences. And you also need to give examples for both of them. But compare kind of questions that are possible even in, in the other subjects such as chemistry. And uh, here I've given you um, uh, in uh, social studies or social sciences over here the duties of a prime minister and that of a chief minister in India. Can we move on? Uh, can we just scroll the screen a little more? And define, the next word that we look for is define. In sciences, this is a very common word. And whenever we give a, a definition in science, it is always told that you do not change the definition because a small, small change, even in a preposition, brings about a huge change in the meaning that you're trying to define. But these days, the word define in the question is found even in the other subjects. For example, what you do with the word define is that you give a precise, concise, crisp sentence. Crispness, preciseness, conciseness. This is very important when it comes to define. So after you give the definition, probably you follow it up by explaining what the definition means. And then follow it up by examples. 
so you give one statement and then you uh, you support you explain that statement that concise you expand it with your explanation and then you give the examples so, so the, this is how we uh, use the word we understand the word define when it comes to uh, writing answers in the exam very impressive so uh, we have only 5 minutes left now dr deepa yeah. let me remind you the time limit as well right can we just move uh, sure. uh, a little more yeah describe so describe the process of converting acid to salt or how describe how heathcliff was able to move from you know something so in describe what you do is you state the points of a topic and then you give characteristics and main features so this is slightly different from the define uh, word that we have seen so description you start with the explanation all right if you find this word in a variety of subjects so you state the points and then you give the characteristics and main features only give examples yes that might give you you know an edge over the others so a little a few more words can you just move down okay shall we do um, yes yes can we stop there yes develop so develop a road map this is a, a hypothetical question this is a probable question in one of the exams develop a road map for sustainable energy use in the kitchen see we look at the word uh, develop we look at road map and then sustainable but we need to focus on the, uh, the the place here in this question in the kitchen so what we do with this uh, command word is that we take forward to a more advanced stage or build upon given information so you state what it information you already have and then you slowly build that is what the word develop wants you to do when you are answering this question so look for such words cue words or command words in the questions that come up in your exam papers focus a little energy on it focus a little comprehension on this read the question always please spend 10 20 seconds if it is a timed close book you know the exam hall kind of a situation because that kind of a good thinking mind you need to have before you start scribbling your answers in the answer paper absolutely uh, dr deepa difficult. i beg your pardon because we have only 1 minute left now so i want you to put some light on this as well as as we are quite well now that to be a great writer you have to be a uh, uh, you know great reader as well to be a great speaker you have to be an active listener as well so how do you think this yes. thing because adolescent doesn't you know uh, listen too much because if you are not reading how you will going to collect the information and abs- uh, actually you will put it in a right order to uh, to give the better answer so how important is that uh, that you should uh, read as much as you can uh, uh, dharmendra your voice is breaking can you just ch- sure. uh, put Say can you hear me again? right can you hear me ma'am yes all right my question is that uh, to to be a you know active writer you have to be active reader as well right to be a, yes. a great yes. speaker you have to be active listener as well so how important is that to to you know shape your good answer better answer you have to uh, read the things in a in a chronological manner then you will be able to put all the things in a in a uh, in a right order to uh, you know show the impression on the examiner if you are going to write the answer in exams point of view yes so as we uh, uh, for students as you are reading what you need to do is you need to take down notes because the old um, uh, method of writing it down the the most important points you write it down you might be able to use it as the last minute resort outside the exam hall because mm. you have it in such contracted form that you 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 don't need to tax your memory you just have it with you so something that helped me as a student was that as soon as i received the answer paper in a closed book exam hall situation as soon as i received the answer paper i would sit down and write particularly things in history for instance mm-hmm. all the important dates and events i would sit down and write even before the question paper arrived so that things did not evaporate from my mind but 
in an open book exam in an open uh, uh, source or open book exam you have materials that are available to you so organization and planning becomes a major issue in an online exam mm -hmm. so problems are different solutions are going to be different so in an online exam memory is not so much tested as it is tested in a closed book exam in the exam hall pattern kind of an exam so in any case as you are reading if you put it down on a piece of paper or you know open a, a word doc on the computer and type it down the more you look at it it really helps you absolutely so, this, so planning this is very very important before yeah. you so go you for exam so you need to find that uh, actually ma'am we, we, we yes. don't have time now we have to wind up this session right here because another session is lined up but thank you so much for your time and thank you so much once again while providing all the important uh, you know tricks how to write the better answer in your examination so I believe that uh, uh, class 10 student uh, must have got all the techniques very carefully whosoever missed this program no need to worry uh, the link is available on NCERT official YouTube channel you can also go there and go through with this uh, uh, session as much as you can and try to learn all the valuable points how to write the answer. So thank you so much, uh, Dr. Deepak, for your time. My pleasure, uh, Dharmendra. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, all the viewers, for watching this program. Next program is for class mathematics, uh, where we understand uh, about line and angles, and that will going to be part one after a short break. Stay connected.